According to the Mavericks at the Institute of Economics in Zagreb, over a quarter of the tourists who come to do to the Brovnik are simply searching for locations used in Game of Thrones. And thus we take our tails to the Jesuit steps. I need to fix that step. There's something wrong with it. Hello. Hello. Where guide Ivan is scoping the very same spot as one of the show's most massively moving scenes. I will show you the walk of shame from Game of Thrones. Oh, the walk, walk of shame. shame. That was a bit of a walk of shame just then. It was. Trip. Why do people have to walk successfully between two points? Let me ask, are you a Game of Thrones fan? Never seen it, have you? Never seen it. You've never seen it? No. Never seen it. Determined to invoice, Ivan produces a pre-approved still of Queen Cersei embarking on her walk of shame. She did some pretty bad things, and it starts with a bell. OK. That's a lovely app. Can I tell you something? You know who the actress is that plays that role? Yeah, I know. Lena Headey? Yes. I just made a film with her recently, a uh, fight with my family, available on uh, Blu-ray, DVD and digital download. Okay. I could give her a ring right now. That is another want. problem. That this guy's not even interested. Couldn't even care less, this guy. No. Before Stephen starts hawking his wares in the street, we hop onto the Ethnographic Museum, which features as a brothel in this most woke of shows. Hello, prostitute, please. <laughs> and who was using the brothel in the show? Uh, little Finger. Don't worry if you can't remember him and you've never seen it, he's yeah. already dead. So... Spoiler alert! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite character was here. Peter Dinklage. Pe Peter Dinklage. Do you know, he once stood on my back. I'm not even yeah. making that up. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Right, so it was on all four. This guy's not impressed by anything. He's supposed to be a Game of Thrones fan. I've uh, name dropped twice now. He's still on your back. Okay. Not in no interest. On you go, sir. Don't so... have a strop. Why did he stand on your back? It's not. There's no time. There's I know how fast oh, this show moves. Well, we've got his time. I'll just, Why did no, he stand I'll on your back? I'll just begin the story right, and you'll okay. cut to something right, else. Some of you being smug somewhere. Good. Why did he stand on your back? It's too late. The secret of this show's lack of success is letting such slights dictate the edit. So now we're at the West Harbour, which doubles as Blackwater Bay in GOT. Ah, oh, OK. So, that's so they've put that in with CGI. Yeah, they put the red keep at the very top Lovely. of the walls and they CGI some boats. Yes. Yeah. They put some props yeah. over there in the middle. And this isn't oh, nerdy. Okay. This is OK. There's more people interested in this than in the history of the Browning. <laughs> so. That's not entirely true, because we're not interested in this either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I check something? Because I'm sure I read that um, in Game of Thrones, Jon Snow died. Is that right? For the first time. But he still presents Channel 4 That's News. That's what I thought. Then is he... Christian Gerwin roughly OK, or is he...? Uh, so, no, no, he in and came back again. Murphy? Murphy? I killed so... him in that interview. Here, Dick, it's that bloody chair off got Game of Thrones. I love that character yeah. and how you just seamlessly transitioned into that. Isn't that good? Can I sit on it? Of course you can. I'd love to have a bloody go on it. Go on. Cheers. Off he goes. Oh! I'm, I feel like the King of Thrones, the Game of Thrones, the King of the Game of Thrones. Yeah, we'll tighten it up in the okay. edit. But I don't. I've never seen the show, so I don't know in what circumstance you would visit the throne. Don't know. <laughs> Have you perhaps come to settle some local um, sort of dispute, like a, like a small claims court yes. um, issue? A lot of it's admin based, from what I understand <laughs> the show. Do you want to have a go? Why not? Yeah, now I couldn't see myself while sitting there, but I think I probably wore it better. OK. I think you, you look more like a tourist to me. You don't look comfortable with that level of authority. How dare you? I'm an I feel like you belong here. I'm the accessible face of authority. Sure. Bucket list complete. <laughs> Shall we? Let's depart. Oh, if only a dragon could swoop in and whisk us away. Yeah. But you don't have that kind of budget. We bowl up in Bergen's own Briggen and things turn nasty with alarming alacrity. Hey, do you know what this is like? This is like you're acting very wooden. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's just a bit banter. Yeah. We sally through the hordes and segue into some more commissioned art. It's a kingfish. This is what all the fanfare's about. Oh, yeah. A bit this of fish. A bit of fish. How good are your 20-foot wooden sculptures? People rub it for luck. Oh, shall we have a good luck ceremony? A ceremony? Yeah. <laughs> This is like being on tour with Madonna. Put your hands on at the same time. You're not a team player, are you? No, I do not play well you, with others. You're an isolated fish. I am. Not being a school of fish. I'm a kingfish. Will you be coming back? No. OK. 
Rapport at Matt's. We must now scale one of the self-declared mountains that comprise Bergen's Ring, the highest of which is cabled by car. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great vibe in here. These guys want some more facts. This is the highest of the mountains in Bergen. That's not saying a lot, though. In a certain way, it's the only real mountain. How many people would you say have gone up in a cable car in 2017? It's 216,000 people. Are they counting babies? Is that a band? Yes, it's a band. I think it's lovely. Yeah? You've got everything there. You've got the water, football stadium, and some housing. People got to live, yeah? As that partially true statement lingers, we come to the clouded summit. And we're here. And the winner of the most Norwegian man so far. Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Well, you pay for the view, don't you? Since 2016, Mount Ulriken features a new activity. I do not approve of this new activity. I'm Evan. I'm Richard. Hey, Evan. hey. Very cool. What we're going to do is take the zip line. Saddle up. Saddle up. In. Goodness, our cameras are here to capture this. <laughs> if you can avoid giving me a massive camel hoof toe, that would be lovely, but, you know. I can promise you anything. Gussets garroted, we temperately assess the infinite void below. Have you seen this fog? This is like the exorcist. <laughs> this is hell. Are his glasses going to stay on? They might fog off a bit. Fog off. They might fog, fog off. off. You fog off. You fog off. <laughs> What sort of noise do you think you'll make on the way down? I'll be completely silent, like yeah. a Scientologist. <laughs> <sighs> if you die, you've created a great body of work. I mean that. This is a shameful death. OK. There goes our little boy. There he goes, having fun. I've got a lot of emotions there. That was unpleasant. Woo I'm a seagull! Yes, please! Did you like it? No. No. How did you find it? At least you know yourself. I loved it until that break, and then I thought it was broken. Yeah. Thank you. But up until the point where you thought it was broken and you might die, you enjoyed it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it, okay. yeah. I felt like a sea eagle floating through the air. Clipped into a wire. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. Shall we go up there? Yes. Day two in Krakow starts with some com to the unism. Uh, we're not getting in there, are we? No, keep going, keep going. No, that that's good. not ours. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. Ashka, nice to meet Ashka, you. Ashka, Richard. Hello. 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 All right, so we can pop in. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's... Oh, that's an elegant entrance. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do the seats go forward at all? No, Joe, no. I've barely got any leg room in I'm here good. whatsoever. Okay. Oh. Ashka gives us a fume filled two and a half hour taste of life in a classless society. I was feeling nervous, and then I saw this tiny handle. Oh, that is good. We chunder to the district of Nova Huta, Stalin's showcase suburb of socialist realism, and one of only two pre-planned Pinko neighbourhoods in the world. This year actually is the 17th anniversary of the district. 17th anniversary. Yeah. How many years? 17. 17. I can't really hear at the back because <laughs> there's a huge amount of rattling. What are they doing to celebrate? Because they renovated some roads. Okay. <laughs> That's how I celebrated my 18th. Oh Intended to be a worker's paradise, Nova Huta is centred on the steelworks from which it takes its name. This is the main entrance to the factory. You could hire it out for weddings. After 20 scarcely suspended mins, we arrive at the Avenue of Roses. From now on, we comrades. Oh, okay. Yeah. This okay. is a workplace, Joe. Yeah. No touching. Get your no, no touching. No Sorry. Yeah. You need to be very strict, serious. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This I is the most awesome. representative part Please. for all the marches, propaganda speeches. Yes. It's no place for like eroticism. Any... Exactly. Don't piss it about. So, back in the days, we used to have the highest statue of Lenin. In here. Okay. Oh, Short and skinny guy in reality. <laughs> yes. But yeah. on this statue, six pack underneath his vest. What do you think's under here? Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs>
But anyway, as you can see, we get rid of him. So essentially, we've come to look at something that is no longer here. Exactly. I think we're going to jump in. Yes. OK, back in the uh, death Back machine. in the car. I don't want to get in. It's not that bad. That could be the show's tagline. It's not that bad. <laughs> As our remaining audience begs to differ, we buckle up for some more hashtag Trebants. Does it have indicators? Let me say bourgeois. I like to know if we're going left or right. As we're in the communist district, we're going left. We're, we're going left, Joe. <laughs> we're in a tin box. Please don't hurt us. Thank you. That right. was close. It's absolutely fine. This is very durable fiberglass. <laughs> it's very flexible. That's what so you want in a crash. Closer than ever, we reach our final stop. An actual apartment full of Soviet shears. Here is vodka and pickles. Thank you. Because it's going to be a bit of a brainwashing process going on, so alcohol helps with it. We watch you Love Island. Contemporary. Please. We simply can't wait to watch the 1951 propaganda classic Destination Nova Hooter. And what's more, we don't have to. I have massive hands, so this glass looks tiny. Mm. Oh, we've been there. We're actually getting quite into the vodka. <laughs> Me too. Now I'm retiring, and now I'm going to spend my days just drinking this in Peckham, watching Eastern Bloc visuals. It's a lot of clapping, isn't there? In your head. Mm. <laughs> my gums ache. This is the longest ten minutes of my life. Please have pity for the people watching. Oh, it's over. Finished. Finished. Yeah. Was it? Oh, it's really good. Are you yes, convinced? Yes. You're going to sign yes, the papers, leave yes. your bourgeoisie hell life behind you? Yes, yes. please. Yes. I absolutely I can't bear the bourgeoisie. Yeah. How is vodka anyway? So strong. We are struggling to form sentences. Mm. <laughs> if you were to ask what time it is, the answer would be La Hora de Vermouth, the Muth Hour. This fortified wine is a traditional post-church pre-lunch sharpener. It's straight underneath. I have to go underneath. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh, God. So, we lope into one of Madrid's multiple vermutherias. Like, that was very prompt. This is wine with herbs and botanicals. Should we try? Sure. Cheers. Oh, right. OK, yeah. yeah no. It's a better time. It's like mulled wine. Cold mulled wine. No? It does feel a bit like something that you might gargle with. I'm going to try some tortilla. Have some tortilla. All right. <laughs> I'm already feeling drowsy. Will you be taking any of this home? Uh, it's a bit sloppy for my handbag. I'm talking about the vermouth. Oh, right. Uh, um, I don't know. But I'm pleased you considered that. Madrid's galleries are well good. You're going to quickly. You're going to do it in unison. No, like this. But to deepen our insight even further, we hire a guide called Hanan, who speaks as soon as this non-diegetic intrusion concludes. Don Richard, Thank welcome you. to the Brown Museum. Ooh. Oh, please. We find ourselves to the rear of Spain's national gallery, the Del Prado. Would you like to enjoy some of the masterpieces? Sure. Yes, please. Thank Don you. Richard. Don Richard. From now on, can you address me as that, please? <laughs> After that poignant naming ceremony, we bosh some Hieronymus. This titanic triptych depicts heaven and the Garden of Eden on the left. It's interesting, the connection between pink yes. and of God. Thank you. Ah. While the centre panel posits a post-Eden earth with people up to their guts in no-no juice. Those fellas caught in a shrimp. Yeah, they are. A dart to the right delineates the hellish consequences. I feel like in hell people would be water skiing. Pig none there, of course. It's a bit like Where's Wally, isn't it? You have to sort of look to find the pig nun. Right. Found it. I win. It's the work of a moment for us to behold a masterpiece conceived and completed on Spanish soil. Las Meninas by King Philip IV's fave, Diego Velázquez. Don't you have the impression that we could enter the room and walk and walk until the open door. You could climb in it like in Harry Potter. After that leading question, Hernan leads us to the canvas for a closer look. Do you see a soft breeze blowing gentle the blonde hair of the princess? Y yeah. I think that's a no from Ellie. 
Aesthetically elevated, we seek to slake our awakened thirst at the Centro de Arte Reina Sofia. We pause to peruse the now cancelled Picasso's Cri de Coeur, Guernica. Time's up for opinions. Before barreling to this piece of business by Spanish surrealist and ant aficionado, Salvador Dali. What do you think, Ellie? I'm still thinking about the name. Although Simon Cowell is turning that into a format. What do you think, Richard? Well, I find it a bit prog rock for me. Right. It feels like a very long guitar solo. Lest we eclipse the legacy of John Berger, we must take our leave of Hernan. Bye bye bye. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I. That was that was a very awkward handshake because I came it was in. Like three way. I actually inset that became a pile up. It is. That was like. He's just left. I think that's one of the worst farewells <laughs> I've been a part. Of.